All right, take two. Um, hi guys, so I thought it was gonna be easy for me to do a journal entry. I thought I could look at my webcam and look at my computer and everything I typed at the same time because I have to type it because I get a little, um, I'm really shy and I get a little tongue-tied at times, but um, I always wanted to blog about something and I just never knew what it was. Um, when I see people on YouTube now, it seems like all they do is talk about how much money they have or how, like, you know, they buy stuff to entertain people on the web and I'm just like, I don't know. When I see, like, my niece and nephew watching us stuff, I'm like, I don't know why that's so interesting. I don't find it fun to watch that stuff. I find it actually pretty boring and... It's like, why would I want to watch something that I can't have, you know? Like, I can't have all these fancy cars and all that other shit. Like, I can't, so. And, um, no offense to them. I know that's how they, that could just be me, but I, I would rather some watch something real. Like, um, you know, stories, stories about people and everything like that and I um you know it's like when you watch The Voice or you watch X Factor and the words that people are singing is what's making you cry and it's like it could be the same thing in a poem or writing um I think that's kind of what we need right now is more vlogging about um real things in life that can make people, um, you know, just get through the day or get through the night, like depression and anxiety and all that other stuff kids may not be experiencing right now, but they're gonna eventually. I mean, I know I did and I'm sure you did too. So I kind of want to make my vlogs about that because I have been through a lot of stuff and I kind of want to inspire people and um I really don't know how to do it right now so else besides blogging or vlogging or um but um so I kind of um don't know where to start this and um I have so much to say but I I like I said I don't know where to start um but I guess I'll start with tonight. Um, um, I have depression. And I cry a lot. Um, I cried today. I'm 25. Uh, but that's because I'm 25 years old. And I just don't really. I'm like disappointed where my life is right now. Not to say I won't fix it, um, do everything I can to fix it. It's just really hard. When you have depression, you don't really want to do anything. And, um, you know, I spent most of my time thinking instead of doing something about it. And I, I feel like I'm supposed to be, you know, probably at my age married by now have kids and you know that puts a lot of pressure on me and I um and I think it mostly comes because my sister has four kids and like um she got pregnant at 21 and my mom got pregnant at 22. And, you know, I'm the last girl, sort of. But, um, you know, do I want to have kids and be married someday? Yes. But basically, um, right now, I also just want to have fun. Like, I've, I didn't have um, my teenage years of what they say going out and partying and all this other stuff I um 
never got to live that life, but my mom did and my sister did. And um, basically, like my, um, I spent most of my teenage years um, having seizures and um, being a bulimic and eating disorder patient. And that's really rough for me right now because I mostly think about um, the regret of not going to school and locking myself inside my home from anxiety and all this other stuff. Um, I wish I went to school. I wish I went to high school. Um, I'm never going to have a prom, which is something I really want. And right now I or I really wanted, I should say, I'm never going to get it. But it's because um, I, I regret it because, like, you know, they say those are the years of your life. And maybe for some people it really wasn't or it's really not taken that seriously. But for me right now, like, I, I just think it is, like, I spend most of my time having, um, regret and feeling angry and feeling hatred, like, I hate myself because, like, I, I feel like sometimes I put like, I want to hate other people, but, like, I hate myself mostly. And that's because it is all me that just, I don't know, I... I did everything to myself to put me in my position right now. But, um... Like... Sometimes, like, I picture myself bullying other people just for, to get the, um, anger out. Like, I, I picture myself walking up to somebody and being like, oh, like, I hate you. Or, like, um, you're the stupidest person on earth, or you're ugly, or things like that, because I just... That's what's roaming through my head, and I want, I think I picture that because I want people to feel the anger and the hurt that I felt my entire life. Um, I obviously have a lot of problems, and I never had anybody to talk to, so I get it. Um, and my anger right now is just like, I'm on the outside, I'm saying nothing, but on the inside, like, I'm screaming, and I want to scream at everybody, and so, like, let's say when people bully other people, or they say something to me that I'm not okay with, I'll just brush it off my shoulder and say nothing, and really, I just want to fucking scream at them, like, I just want to say something, but I'm fucking feel like I'm not gonna quit if I say something like I just I spent so much time worrying about what other people would think or hurting other people and neglecting the fact that I'm hurt and I need help and you know I you shouldn't have to hold your own hurt in for other people like you shouldn't have to do that so it's really tough for me but I am getting at the point where I really am going to start speaking for myself because I I don't deserve to be hurt. Like, I don't at all. To be honest, I don't know who I am at age 25 and that really bothers me because I feel like most people are supposed to know who they are at 25. They are supposed to have everything figured out. And 
it really bugs me because it's like if you don't know who you are and people are standing in front of you trying to tell you who you are or tell you who you're supposed to become, it's really fucking hard because it it confuses you and it it's not helping you at all. And um, I spent so much time like trying to help people figure out who they are, trying to tell people they're amazing, and it always backfires, and I'm like, I don't know why I'm spending so much time telling you you're amazing, and you're not, and trying to comfort you, and sometimes, like, I, I know that they, they have to, they comfort me more than I comfort them, but right now, it's like, I'm not in the position, like, I know I'm not in the position to be helping people, like, I'm not, I'm not a consoler, and I think I also put a lot of pressure on people to console me, because I, I don't have a lot of people to talk to, like, I'm sorry, but also, it's very hard for me to, like, go every week to a therapist and I've had eight in my entire lifetime so it's like I just feel like why have another one because if I leave or they leave me or something goes like that it's really going to destruct me because I'm going to have to start from scratch probably another reason why I'm trying to talk to you guys you being the viewers whoever you are because this is going to be permanent. This is going to be on the internet for life. And I will not, never have to repeat this again. I may repeat it again just on accident or not remembering that I said it before. But it's like, it's never going to be erased. Or I'm never going to have to repeat, repeat it like, like you're going to remember it. So, but, um... You know, I also always stand near people and I just, I wonder why, like, I have to call you amazing all the time and then you look at me like I'm weird or you look at me like I'm, I'm not amazing. Like, it's just really tough for me. It's a really tough thing, you know? And sometimes... I know I do do things for attention and they're really bad and, you know, we don't, it's true, someone said it before, we don't react at our best when we're angry or we are hurt or anything and, you know, I'll post pictures of myself being upset and it's really not the maturest thing to do. I'm really trying to work on that and, but... Like, when you have nobody to talk to, and you, right now we're in corona, too. So you have to remember that people who are used to going out, and I wanted to be one of those people that went out and met new people, like, we can't do that anymore. We can't do that right now. So, like making fun of me or something for doing it like or not being able to do it is nothing that you know I appreciate and I don't know if anyone's done that or not but I just am saying it this morning I got dressed in jeans and an actual shirt because usually I just wear like sweatpants and a spaghetti strap that usually has hair on it and I tried to be put makeup on and look pretty and be pretty for me today but I never went out I just wanted to look pretty for me and I just like I don't want every day like today like okay you might feel good even though at the end of the day even though it's only gonna last a day but it's just like it didn't even last maybe five hours before I started crying because I was in a mood like I was just like oh my god like I can't believe this but 
I don't know. Day's done. And I think that'll be the end of this video for now. Um, I'm going to try to stop saying, um, like, in future videos, but I just needed to share that. Um, and you guys are going to learn more about me, and you can message me at all if you need anything.